how amazing is it that you guys get to come to a conference like this and sit with a room full of people that actually understand what it is that you do for a living? <laughs> wow! Yeah, baby! Man, how many people are thinking, hey, this is better than I thought it'd be? <laughs> how many people are thinking, well, I didn't pay for it, who cares? <laughs> What are y'all staring at? <laughs> the reason why we care that magic is a feeling is because it's that feeling that makes life so much fun. Our job is not just to get across the garden. Our job is to get across the garden and to enjoy the trip, right? That's why we stop to smell the flowers. We stop to smell the flowers because it makes the trip more magical. Your job is not to do all the amazing things you do when you're working. Your job is to do all those things and to enjoy doing it. Humor is important. For crying out loud, people know this in their heart. They know that humor is important. We have all the kind of the deep stuff about how uh, the physiological benefits of laughter. We know how humor in the workplace helps us with our output and our product. It helps us with morale and with turnover. But really, I think equally as important is we just feel it in our heart that it's important to have fun. And that's my job, is to come in and in a very funny, laugh out loud way, remind people that it's okay and important to have fun and to give them some techniques to take with them to bring humor and laughter back into their lives and back into their jobs. Well, uh, the topic of today's talk is, called, is ordinary magic. The art of being reminded how astonishing and how amazing life is. And we are going to talk about some powerful ideas that you can use not only today, but well in to like the afternoon, at least. <laughs> Uh, but also, I think we're going to have some fun. The message is simple. We're not curing cancer. We're not splitting the atom. We're just giving them a really simple message that's so simple they probably just forgot it. And that's this, that life is fun. And all we're supposed to do is open up our eyes and see that life is fun. It's funny. That life is filled with magic. All we have to do is remember to look for it. I, I don't know this about Larry, but I just, I could feel it. Even though I just met Larry, I know when I looked him in the eyes and said, Larry, come on up. I could tell that when he woke up this morning, he wasn't hoping, oh, I hope Magic Boy picks me. <laughs> I just knew that. I just knew it. I, he just he didn't want to. Who would, right? But he was so great. And he had a choice, didn't he? He could have sat there and gone, uh-uh, no, uh no, mm, I'm not leaving this chair. <laughs> or he could have... He could have done exactly what he did. He could have jumped up and, and come up here and just allow himself to be out of control, to have some faith Then in the end things would work out. In the meantime, look for a laugh. I could just see it. I know in a group this big, I just feel it, that you guys are looking up here. Some of you, you guys are going, oh, sure. I got some real problems, and there is some magic boy up there telling me to lighten up. <laughs> laugh, trust, faith, bite me. Right? And I know in a group that's big, some of you guys are, you are having trouble. This is a tough job. I know about that. You guys have a tough job. Maybe your family life isn't perfect right now. Maybe you're dealing with some tragedy, and here I am just completely simplifying stuff. It is oversimplified, isn't it? Yeah. But to me, that's where the elegance is. The elegance is in the simplicity. And even with those big things, they're going to happen anyway, aren't they? And even with the big things, we have a choice, which is how we're going to deal with it. Even with the big stuff, we can either fight it, go on screaming, or we can just let it happen. Allow ourselves to be out of control, have some faith that somehow it'll work out, and in the meantime, go for the laugh. I call myself a motivational humorist. That means we've got a laugh out loud program with a message about lightening up and enjoying life more. <laughs> Went to the reception to one of these bad boys. Just introduce myself. Hi, I'm Kim's husband. How are you doing? How do you like my new coat? <laughs> so our goal is to get them laughing and laughing hard. Uh, we want to make sure when they, when they leave, they say things like, that was hilarious. My face hurts from laughing so hard. You know, we want, we want them to be laughing so hard, they have to wipe the tears from their eyes. But also we want them to have something to take with them, and that should be a message about